Welcome back, guys. It's, of course, TKIF and Campus Friday, and I'm so excited to have this guest back here on the show. She's one of our most popular interviews. She's also a, she was one of the original members of probably one of the most popular girl groups of all time, Destiny's Child. Please welcome back Latavia Roberson is in the building. What's going on, Latavia? Hey, hey, hey. How are you? I am great. So excited to have you. know it's been like two years, officially, this month. Um, since the last time you were here. Yes. That's crazy. I know. And it's one of our most popular interviews. Wow, that's awesome. Even more popular than our interview with Oprah. <laughs> Get out of here. Stop it. I'm just saying. But no, it, I mean, it, it, that's a credit to the excitement that people have about Destiny's Child still. You're one of the original members. We, you know, when, when you came here, we talked a lot about, you know, what you were going through, where you've come from. And, and we were looking forward to so much um, coming for you. But, it, you know, we didn't really hear anything until now. You're part of the R&B Divas Atlanta cast. First of all, last night's episode, I watched it and I'm just like, well, OK, Latavia is looking awesome, first of all. Second of all, thank you, <laughs> Latavia. You, you didn't get into any of the drama, but you, you sort of towards the end with Kiki. You you look like you're trying to settle her down. Can we just go to that moment? Can we just jump right into there? What in the hell happened? You know what? It was some like my facial expression and everything that you all saw from me mm -hmm. at that particular moment is exactly what I was feeling to the point to where like. The next day, like, I was like, oh, gosh, I have to go sit down and I have to talk with Kiki personally and, like, see what really happened. Um, I don't, I, I'm not going to tell you what happened because then, of I course. mean, I need you to watch next week. Of course, of course. But, I mean, it, it just seemed insane and just went so quickly. And, I, I, I you know, anyways, first of all, being a part of R&B Divas Atlanta, we were, for, we were surprised because, you know, the last time you were here, we were talking about... Um, the couple of episodes that you did for um, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, why did you decide to go this route with this particular series? Um, you, you know what? Um, honestly, you know, interest from the show um, mm -hmm. had presented itself prior to me actually signing on. And um, it wasn't the right timing then. And after I gave birth to my daughter, um, it came across our desk again, my management and our desk again, and um, it made me, you know, kind of pay attention. And, I, you know, I asked God a, in a very specific prayer, you know, is this for me, yes or no? And he He gave me the, the green light, so mm -hmm. I decided to sign up for R&B Diva. Definitely. And you mentioned your daughter, Lyric, right? Yes. First of all, I mean, the, the last time you heard, you were not a mother. So your whole perspective on life must have changed. Like, what, like how, how did motherhood change Latavia Robeson? You know what? Motherhood is, it's phenomenal. It's challenging. Mm. My daughter is my biggest project to date. Mm. I must say that it's, it's very humbling to know that my life is really no longer about me anymore. Yeah. I have somebody else to live for. So mm. therefore, it makes me take a lot more risk. It takes mm. me into different realms of life mm -hmm. to maybe things that I probably would have never even considered before. You know, I'm, I'm a lot more willing to do other things because, you know, I, I have a, another mouth to feed. And mm. she's the most precious gift that God could have ever given me. You know, because the last time you were here, you know, we talked about, you know, the dark side of, you know, after, you know, leaving Destiny's Child and, um, you know, just your ups and downs and things like that. It, it had to really just give me meaning to life in a whole new way. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I can't, like, I can't even describe motherhood. Like, carrying another person in your womb and even feeling the differences when she, the first time she kicked and just knowing, like, when my mood changes, like, she would change or she would react. It's, it's just the most amazing thing. And you're going through the contractions, Lord Jesus. Tell me. He's thinking about it again. <laughs> will we will we get to but, see her will, will we get to see her on Army Divas? Um, yes, there's some things that um we that, that we did with my daughter. Okay. All right. So yeah. For you know, Latavia, you know, anytime you come here, we always, you know, we have to talk about Destiny's Child. We have to talk about Beyonce. I mean, we're not going to dwell into the past and you know what happened with okay. um, Matthew Knowles and all that other crap because we, you know, we talked. We did, we, had, 
when look, we had a legendary interview that is one of our biggest interviews that people can go back and listen to it. Uh, and we'll, maybe one day we'll play, we'll replay it here on the show. But uh, okay. Destiny, you know, everyone, and I'm sure you get this all the time. People are like, oh, we would love to see a Destiny Child reunion. In my mind and in my wish, I would love to see all of the ladies, even, well, okay, maybe not um, What's Her Face, the one that came for a moment. But <laughs> but definitely oh, God, God. The, the original ladies and Michelle. And I see that you are friends with Michelle as well. How did that happen? Um, Latoya, I was, I, I was here in Atlanta and Latoya was like, we're going to be out at Keisha Knight Pulliam's house. Um, it was a graduation party for Keisha's little brother. He was graduating from college and mm-hmm. she was throwing a a cookout at her house and Latoya told me to come over and Michelle was there and she said Michelle wanted to meet me so I went and we all we all sat down and we chatted. It was it was great. It was cool. I, I loved it. You know, and I and I can't recall if I asked you the last time you were here and I probably didn't because I don't remember a response. <laughs> but <laughs> the because I, I know that you know Destiny's child and you you guys had your issues and, and whatever it may be, but you resolved those issues. Have you and you have you spoken to Beyonce since since all since the breakup? Um, I actually I ran into Beyonce here in Atlanta um a couple years after everything went down and mm. it was nothing but love and bracing and a bunch of loving and us you know expressing how much we missed each other. You know I've spoken to Kelly and there was nothing but love. Latoya was. She even came to the hospital after I gave birth to my daughter. So, yeah, it's, you know, like we're we're adults now. You know, we were kids yeah. back then. So, you know, life goes on. Can, but can we just take a moment because I know um, Latoya responded to you know it was a big popular Vine video that was going around, and I'm sure you've seen it. Don't act like you didn't see it. <laughs> sure. There was a Vine video where Kelly, you know, and it looked like it was edited, you, but you you can set the record straight. Where Kelly, you know, in the, the Vine video says that she was the second lead vocalist, and then it switches to Beyonce, where Beyonce coughs, where, where it seems as if Beyonce's throwing shade at what Kelly said. Have you seen the video and? your thoughts you know what you're the first person that I've ever heard say that it seemed like it was edited because when I finally saw it, everybody had seen it for days and then I was I'm the late bloomer that finally <laughs> saw it uh, he, every, as far as I knew when we were when we would rehearse like you know we would talk about our interviews and stuff like that Kelly was always she was the second lead singer mm-hmm. I understand like how that happened and they made that to be an issue. You know, people do anything to get some attention nowadays. Definitely. Kelly, what's the second lead singer? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm a little under the weather. But, you know, there there, there was no shade. That's I, I was kind of confused, but I guess I see why people could see the humor in it. I mean, the video was yeah, funny. Was I mean, so look, funny. <laughs> it was funny. Of course, it, it, right. It, it did make its rounds on, on the internet, but I had to ask you about it, you know, because you're one of the original members of Destiny Child. One thing we, we have to say about all of the original members of Destiny Child, even, even uh, of course, Michelle, all of you ladies, years later, you know, because sometimes the years can do a number on people, but you all look great. Thank you. Thank I know, you. I, I have to really, I have to say, I have to, I have to like, look at that. I mean, I've seen, I've seen you, of course, I've seen your Facebook and things like that, pictures, but just to kind of see you on TV and everything, I was like, wow, did, these ladies just look good. You just had a baby and you just snapping back. Go ahead, Latavia. Yes, yes <laughs> so snap back. <laughs> but, you know, um, you know, Destiny's Child, you know, I know the last time that we that you were here, we asked you if you'd be down for a reunion. I know, of course, you'd be down for a reunion. Has that conversation ever come up between you, Latoya, and maybe Michelle? Um, no, it has to come up between us. But you know, I feel like anything is possible, and mm-hmm. you know, absolutely, if the if the conversation were to come around, it would definitely be something that I would entertain for sure. And the other thing that, you know, it's so funny because that's the great thing about doing a follow-up interview because then you're like, all the questions you didn't ask, this is your opportunity to ask. And we didn't ask you about, because one thing about Destiny Child, you know, you had your lead vocalist, you had your second lead vocalist, but we, it was rare that we heard you or LaToya. But then LaToya came out with her solo album, so we finally got to see hear LaToya's voice. Then last night, homegirl Latavia dropping, oh, like, oh, Latavia, listen to Latavia sing. Oh, gosh. Let's talk. First of all, yeah. we didn't know. Of course, we knew you could sing, but we didn't know you you had that in you. But it seems as if going forward in the season, you struggle with the security of your voice. What can you tell us about 
you possibly doing a solo record and, and why you haven't done one? Um, you know what? My, my whole thing has been, um, I've been a little unsure about being an artist. It's never been about, you know, whether or not, you know, I could, I could sing or not. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it was with my, my voice. You know, mm -hmm. it was, it was as far as material goes, you know, mm -hmm. everybody had done their thing, you know, I hadn't. So, you know, I had to, you know, I had to really let, my past, you know what I'm saying, guide itself mm -hmm. in the right direction because I refuse to come out and do any music just for the sake of, you know, making everybody else happy. I have to be happy with the material and mm -hmm. I have to make sure that it's definitely right for me and that I feel good about any project that I put out. Mm -hmm. So, but now that you're doing R&B Divas in, in, and now you're, you're back out there, you know, everyone's like, oh my God, Latavia is here and Latavia's looking great. Is Latavia possibly working on new music? It's definitely, you know, I've definitely been meeting with uh, um, with producers and listening to music. I have been taking my path still um, with my acting, mm. and um, you know, a lot of a lot of things have happened with myself and in the music industry. You know, even after the group, and just seeing a lot of things behind the scenes and stuff like that, and. It's you know it's left a you know a little sour taste in my mouth. Yeah. As far as the music industry goes, it's changed a lot. Um, music is very trendy. The industry is very fickle, and you know one day they love you, one day they don't. You know, so I, right now I'm just I'm just now getting back into this thing right now. Yeah. So um, it, you know, as far so, as being an artist in this industry, you know, I'm just you know. So it's still on the you're considering. I don't it. know. But it's understandable. The music industry is tough. So if, if you're going down the acting route, I say go ahead because the music industry really is tough. And we're tough. Look, we're tough here on the on the radio show when people put out music. But, um, you know, one of the biggest music, music moments of last year and, of course, this year, Beyonce released um, the self-titled project, Surprise Release. Were you, like, were you, because I know you're a big fan of not just Destiny's Child, but also of, of the girls and you're a big supporter of the girls. Uh, were you like like where, where were you and and what were your thoughts? <laughs> I was in my bathroom and when the news dropped, I went straight to iTunes and I got it. I watched all the videos and I was <laughs> jamming it in for like at least about eight days straight. I really wow. didn't listen to nothing else. <laughs> Real talk. No, I look, look me too. <laughs> look me too. But let's have you. The last time you were here as well, you know, we, we talked about you writing a book. I know you, you're do, you're doing the reality show, and we talk, we talked talk a little bit about the music and and possibly getting into some acting. But you also were writing a tell all book. Is that still in the works? Yes, you know, we we really don't like to call it a tell all because you know it seems a little scandalous at times. Oh, sorry. But <laughs> it, it definitely is. It definitely is a book about my life, and it goes into the very deep depths and dark valleys of my life and the things that I've been through. I mm -hmm. like to call it my love letter because I just I still want to be very transparent to everybody that has supported me, to all of my supporters. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like I was finishing my book, but once I got pregnant and then once I gave birth, like clearly I had more chapters to write. So mm -hmm. right now I'm, at, I'm in the finishing stages of finishing it up as of now. And and speaking of of, um, of the acting, are, are, is this something that we should be on the lookout for? Any particular roles or anything like that? Well, you know, there are a couple things that have come across my desk right now, and we're taking a look at some things. Um, you know, where we where we stay, you know, wanting you know great scripts and everything like that. There are some plays that I've I've been doing, and a couple more that I should be doing in the near future. Mm. So. There's nothing in particular at this moment that I can give you a name of, okay. but, um, you know, it, it definitely is. And I'm very, very, very excited about it. And we're excited for you as well. You know, we're excited to see that you're on R&B Divas Atlanta. We, we weren't sure at first because we were like, OK, you know, reality TV can be hit or miss for some uh -huh. people. But how has the season been? You know, looking at the little preview of what the season has to come looks very exciting. Any beef developed between you? Any friendships that you didn't think would develop um, between you and the ladies? You know what? At the end of the day, um, 
I love filming the show. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, filming reality TV was a, a brave and a very, very, very new experience for me. Um, but it was a fun ride at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't been in, the, in in front of the camera this much for a while, mm-hmm. but I've learned so much from being on um, R&B Divas um, mm-hmm. Atlanta. And I, I, I'm doing the show with, I, I did the show with women who understand and they've experienced the music business the way that, you know, I have. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and it made the process for me a lot more special. Mm-hmm. Um, at the end of the day, um, it shows that African-American women can get along and support each other. But there's a genuine spirit of sisterhood, you know, between us, and we all partake in everything that goes on throughout the whole season. Um, you know, I will say that, you know, bringing six women together with six respectable careers and histories and brands and opinions I can tell you something. <laughs> it definitely makes for some good TV. It, it, it looks Not like it. It looks like it. It definitely looks like it. Yes. Oh, um, but it, it also sounds if, as if you would you if they were to ask you to come back for another season, would you do it? It seems seem like you're not too sure about reality TV. <laughs> um, it's not that I'm not I'm not not sure about um reality TV. You know, I just try to I, I maintain true to myself and who I am, and that's what I did this whole season. Nothing mm-hmm. was scripted for me. I every situation that arose in my path and in the things that went along as far as me being on camera I was very truthful in Mm -hmm. the way that things happened um Mm -hmm. I'm not unsure about it at all Mm -hmm. but you know there is a process that goes along with you know signing up for next seasons and things like that so I'm definitely willing you know especially if everything is right yeah Latavia, you know, it's it's always, always a pleasure to have you here on the show. You're such an easy person to talk to. You're such a lovely person. Oh, thank you. Um, not a lot. Look, not a lot of people are like that. And you're very open. And you know, I think oh, that's thank of, you. And I think I think it's part of the reason why the interview that we originally did was so popular because people were like, wow, she, she seems really down to earth and really supportive of the other ladies. Do you ever get tired of people asking you about Destiny's Child or Beyonce or anything like that? I'm sorry? Do you ever get tired of people asking you about Destiny's Child, the breakup? Uh, you know, is, is is there a question that just like, you know what, that's just annoying. I don't want to talk about that well, anymore. You, just, you know what, just a simple fact that, you know, it's been so many years ago. And it's yeah. just like, oh, do we still have to continuously talk about it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I can't Poor tell <laughs> We appreciate you being here. <laughs> Stick and oh all. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you so much. Look, I've been look. I've been trying to keep it together. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, understand that you know that's um, that's what I, I I understand as well that you know that's where everybody knows me from. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was. But I'd be like, oh my God, <laughs> I think I have to continue to talk about it. <laughs> How much more can I say? It's like, you know, it's always the same answer. Like, you know, nothing is going to change. It's not a fabricated answer. It's just the way that I've always felt mm-hmm. about everything because I have the utmost respect for the girls. Absolutely. Sidebar, because you know, this is what, you know, I like to ask the questions that everybody, you know, wants to ask. But sidebar, you know, Mr. Knowles has been all over the news with this baby mama drama situation. Have you been seeing it? And what you can say whatever you want to say on it. <laughs> um, yes, I yes I've seen it. Um, <laughs> I yes I've seen it. <laughs> I She's like, uh, uh, I mean, I'll say I'm one. A grown man. I, I'll say one thing, and then we can just keep it, leave it at that. Karma is a bitch. Uh-huh. And we'll move on. <laughs> All right. I have somebody and her first name starts with a B. <laughs> it's, of course, TK. I think it's Friday. We're here with the R&B Divas of Atlanta star, Latavia Roberson. We really do appreciate you being here. And because you're sick, we're not going to ask you to sing a little something for us unless you want to. Just a little something. I mean, the last time you were here, we didn't ask oh you to sing God. at all. <laughs> oh Just a little. God. I mean, I know. I don't look. <laughs> 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 look, no, we were happy. Look, I was happy last night when you did the little, the little something at the, the uh, at the uh, gratitude tea. I was like, oh, Latavia, sing a little something. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> but Latavia, you know, we're I, I really 
we're really excited for for what's to come for the for the new season. Anything else that we should be on the lookout for? You know, we're gonna be looking out for that book. Definitely the different acting opportunities, and definitely you're gonna have to come back because I know as the season unfolds, I'm gonna have more questions. <laughs> oh, absolutely, and please feel free anytime you want to. I always enjoy speaking with you kids. It's always lovely. Um, I'm I'm working on a, a trio cookbook with my mom. Um, oh. Recipes that you know we love because I love to cook, and um, my mother is um, you know she's a breast cancer survivor. So we're going to give a lot of the proceeds from the book to breast cancer. And I'm an advocate of breast cancer awareness. Um, oh. I'm starting to work on a, a line of clothing for babies, for premature babies. Um, oh. Although my daughter wasn't born premature, she was so small that I could only put her in preemie clothes. And it was so hard for me to find it. So I can only imagine how hard it is for the mothers who do have premature babies to actually find that. Um, wow. So it's just, you know, in, in, in a possible fragrance line because I ain't nothing like smelling good, and I'm definitely in the scents and candles and stuff like that. I mean, you're looking good, definitely. so you might as well smell good. <laughs> Thank you as well. Thank you so much. Just so much. It's just, it's, it's just a lot. You know, the, the, the sky is the limit. Well, actually, it's like I always say, the sky is not the limit for me because there is a moon. So All right. it's just so much <laughs> That's in the works. That's amazing. I'm looking forward to it because you know we love to talk about food and we love eating. So we definitely have to talk about that when that finally comes out. Okay. And, and it's definitely in support of something very, very good. Uh, so definitely have to come back and talk about that. Perfume and all that good stuff. Excited for you, uh, Latavi Roberson, original you. member of Dusty Child and the new star of R&B Divas Atlanta. Make sure you guys are tuning in. We're going to be tweet tweeting and, and sharing all kinds of stuff throughout the night about Latavia, so make sure you look out for that. And we're also going to link you to our old interview, just in case you missed it. It's one of our most popular. It's probably like our second or third top interview of all time here on Kempai Radio's History. Latavia Roberson, thank you so much for being here. Make sure you guys are following her on Twitter at I am Latavia, And that's also I your Instagram, too, right? Yes, it is. And then my Facebook is um, backslash um, official Latavia. And um, just hit me up on my website as well, um, LataviaRoberson.com. Most definitely Latavia Robinson. Oh, I was going to Robinson. Roberson, thank you so much for being okay. here. Okay. Have a thank great you night. For having me again. Of course, we're going to jump into some. We're going to jump into some classic Destiny's Child. Let's go. No, 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 no. <laughs> Have a great yes, night. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Have a great yes. night. We'll be right back.